All right, y'all. So this is the video that a lot of people have been wanting me to make and talk about. So let's jump into it, man. Um, now, I'm going to be very transparent. I'm going to let you all know what I know and what I've been told. Um, I'm going to keep it straightforward and, and very as simple as possible, man. Um, so let's, let's just get straight into it. Um, I'll, I'll start this by saying this. As far as the team, I talked to them at multiple points recently. I talked to them towards all time high. <clears throat> and I also talked to them um, as the dip and stuff was happening. And what I've been told throughout both times is that we're building. I like the consistency there. Like at the peak, they were worried about building as it's falling. Obviously the, the tune has changed slightly in a way where it's like the way that they say that they're worried about building, if they're focusing on building, they're like, man, these snakes, bro, these snakes, but we still building. Like all we can, all we can do is build. What can we do? Like, it's like, what can we do about this? Like, all we can do is just keep building. So what the, I, what I love, because that's my mindset too. What I love is to focus on the things that you can control. You can't control people sitting here dumping. Like, you can't control that. You can't control people's conviction and things like that. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> But that being said, check it out. Let me tell you exactly what happened to my knowledge so far. I mean, it's still being looked into. Right here, this dump. <clears throat> and listen, no disrespect to the VV community. Realistically, no trolling right now. <clears throat> I'm a holder in VV. I'm a holder in Omi. So no disrespect to this community, but it, it really is like a fucking plague. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like a plague. Because while I don't agree with the things people are doing, it's like I've been there from the beginning. I get it. I get it. And even though they're screwing everyone, I, I get it, but everyone can't be a coward. People have to have honor and dignity because everyone can't have this mindset or nothing gets built. Nothing great can happen on a foundation of weakness. And people want, can sit here and say what they want about VV, but it's created a weak foundation. It's created a lot of weakness, a lot of weakness, a lot of greed. But this right here, this first dump, obviously a guy from the VV community. The day before he dumps, he's sitting here writing all type of messages. Oh, this project is amazing. I love being a part of this community. I'm never going anywhere. This is, this is, this is, we're holding to the moon. Next day he dumps. Crazy. Um, nobody expected that one. <laughs> No, nope, nobody expected that. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Nobody, nobody expected that one. But next day he dumps. That starts a chain reaction of doubt. So then, obviously, more dumps slowly start to happen. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> once these chinks in the was in the armor, what I believe took place is a coordinated group effort took place. Uh, some group who had got into this project at who knows what point took advantage and they started causing panic dumping. And that's what happened there. Now, at the time that I tweeted, when I said every top holder was still holding, every top holder was still holding. Shortly after, another big dump happened. A top holder had dumped and I don't know if I said this but with this guy with the first guy who, who dumped 100k his excuse was I was a part of VV and Omi and and oh my god this is more money than I've ever seen in my life and I have to secure it because like I, I was there with Omi and I got screwed and bro and mind you that the majority of the holders a lot it's a lot of holders who's from VV and Omi like this a lot like this project was started close to home by team like a lot of these teams are vv's reach has been huge so i'll just say that <clears throat> so that being said a lot of us is from vv and omi so ain't nobody trying to hear that shit what are you talking about but then this next dump happens <clears throat> vv and omi well who got in early, he got in very early, 
He then dumps. He's now him. He didn't say a word to nobody. He just did what he did. He was the fourth, I believe, the fourth biggest holder in Chuck. He then dumps. Now, I believe the biggest well. There is a well. I don't know his exact status. I don't. I don't. Maybe there's somebody bigger than him, but I think he may be the biggest. No, I, no. I think there's one person bigger than him. But anyway, during the panic of all this stuff going on, he's still dropping money into Chuck, trying to soften these blows because a lot of a lot of betrayal, a lot of <clears throat> a lot of BS is going on. A lot of people panicking from V and. Listen, and I'm going to show you all the mindset of the VV community. I'm going to show you all the mindset that's that's literally leading to destruction. But, yeah, it, it's some wells throughout this process that's been trying to help. But what you can't drop your whole net worth into a project just for it to get eaten up and taken by other people. <clears throat> it's not even logical. It's not logical to do that. So you have people trying to help, but... You can't soften the blow of a bunch of people panicking. You like one person cannot do that. <clears throat> I mean, the the whale is not Elon Musk. So, yeah. Now, check it out. The bigger dump from the fourth biggest whale. Just so y'all can see, like, all right. So here's the wallet. Here's the wallet right here. And I'm gonna show you all the uh. All, I don't know. Yeah, like. So here's the wallet. So you all can see the wallet and this was early on so as you can see 43 days ago forty three days ago um and now my computer's not loading <clears throat> of course it's not why would it be loading? Oh wow, this is taking forever to do whatever it's gonna do, bro. Let's um let's go here. This is the mindset. This is the, so we'll go back to the transaction so you can see the whale who bought early and then screwed everyone. Um but yeah, look. So this is the mindset. And like I said, how can I how can I be mad at the mindset? I get it. Man, take profits and reinvest. I'm up 4x and back in. Omi taught me to never be someone else's doorman. Omi taught me to never be someone else's doorman. I said, the problem is everyone can't think like that or the price will keep crashing. Everyone trying not to be somebody's doorman and not having trust, not being able to hold, not being able to see a bigger picture. <clears throat> if everyone didn't see the bigger picture, there would be no stability. Everyone can't be trying to dump and get in lower or, or everyone can't do that. Everyone can't have that mindset. Otherwise, you can't build. <clears throat> like, who's focusing on building in the bigger picture and getting to the, the real money if, if everybody's trying to nickel and dime their way to the top? Warren Buffett held, and obviously, Chuck is not equivalent to Coca-Cola, but this man held for years, for many, many years. But... And then the whole meme coin narrative, especially the way that it's presented in the, like you got all these Shiba Inus, Dogecoin, you got all this stuff that people really hold for years. And you got the VB community spinning a narrative that you don't hold for even months when it comes down to meme coins. It's like the fact that this community is so uneducated on how to even move in the broader crypto space is very detrimental as well. The fact that there are so many people from the VV and Omi community, and then they don't know how to move. They don't know how to get to the point where a Shiba or a Doge gets created because they're used to a, a project that's only gone downhill the whole time. They don't know how, they don't know the potential of these projects. They don't realize the status that this project was at. They, like, they really don't get it. So he says, well, after diamond handing, exit liquidity for Wells, Omi for 2021, and then Bit4X 21, then living in New York, buying Epico on Uniswap, no Maxi for NY, then swap, wanting to sell. I'll never not think like that. So a whole bunch of VV stuff basically is why 
people are thinking like that. As you can see, this is the mindset. All of his trauma comes from Vivi and, and the Omi token. So you have people with these fragile mindsets and they're scared. And it's like, what can I do? What can I say? I can't blame them. And maybe the reason that I, but it's not my fault. Well, it is my fault. I'm nice. I'm, I'm, I'm nice at what I do. But I, I mean, I, I put my, I'm smart enough to put myself in circles where I'm going to get information. I'm going to know what's being talked about. I'm going to hear things and I'm going to be able to reach out to teams. I put myself in position to be around people in, in better positions than me. That's the way that I go about life. So I'm not going to be in a position where I don't know things. Information is everything, bro. Information is everything. When you have information, you can win easier. It's easier to win with information. But let's see if this thing is working right now, bro. Uh, okay, let's see. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, um, 43 days ago, this man bought 8 million Chuck right here. Man's bought 8 million Chuck. What can you do at this point? Man's dropped a bag and bought 8 million Chuck. When it, when it first came out, he bought 8 million Chuck. Fast forward. Let's see which one was that. 43 days again. He bought almost 11 million more Chuck. So what was that? 8 million, then 11 million? He bought even more Chuck. This is early on. And then I think... 34 days and he bought even more Chuck. So yeah, he bought even more Chuck right here. So this guy came into the project, got in early and bought a ton of Chuck and he became the fourth biggest holder. And then he dumped on everybody. He literally dumped on everybody. So it's like, what can you actually do? Like, like, what can you actually do when someone is doing, when a whale with this much control does something like this? And obviously, he was from the VV community too. He was, he was, he was an actual, he's a known whale from the VV community. So, and I don't know, man. On one hand, I get it. Everybody want to get theirs. The problem is that mindset is so destructive because you can't build on a foundation of everybody trying to get theirs. You have to, Vivi was able to get built because it had a foundation of faith. Oh, we believe in David Yu. He's associated with Pokemon, Al Khan. It's buy, 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 don't sell. We believe in them. But then again, this is the problem that I see with Chuck. And this is the problem that I've told them. What reason, I have all this information. What reason does the average person have to believe in Chuck? Why wouldn't they think it's just another meme coin? You can sit here and, and get these bigger people to talk about your project. My opinion is that that is the quid approach. A lot of people don't understand what made VV successful and my, my impact in that, by the way. A lot of people know, a lot of people just don't wanna give me credit because of my ego but I specialize in what I do. I don't need other people to tell me I'm nice. Like, trust me, I know for a fact, because VV is not the first time I've done it. It's not the first community I've built up. It's really not. Like my, my, my page with hundreds of millions of views and, and hundreds of thousands of subscribers, that community was also built off my back too. Their very first game trailer, I was the voice of it. Like literally, that's how deep it goes. I was so hot building up that community when they made the, when they released their first hero trailer, it was my voice you heard. But, so it's like, this is nothing new for me. I, I know I know how to do what I do. But, and this is like, and this is why I, I try to tell Chuck these things. I try to tell the team this, but they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Like, and listen, I'm not on the payroll. So I'm not finna sit here and be, I don't work for free. I'm not finna sit here and help y'all out. I believe in the project. I believe in what you got going on. I appreciate you letting me know and keep me informed. But at the end of the day, I'm not on the team. I'm not going to sit here and do what y'all should be doing. But yeah, they're taking a quid approach. Quid worked with FaZe. Quid worked with Mr. Beast. 
had all these shout outs, but the problem is it led to a momentary boost. But at the end of the day, there was no influencers that they could go to and see what was going on. They couldn't get up to date information. They didn't know what was coming, what was happening, why it was so special, like what the community was like. There was no, there's no real community. Yeah, there's, if you're not in the telegram, you don't know nothing that's going on with Chuck. You don't know nothing that's happening. When it comes down to Vivi, you could jump on YouTube. You see me uploading three videos a day. I inspire other creators to come into the community. Now it's a bunch of creators um, uploading every single day. It's like, and then people think that, oh, Andre Jick shouted it out. Logan Paul shouted it out. Gary V shouted it out. They think that these are the critical moments that made the VV project. And to an extent, they helped. They definitely helped. But the, the fact of the matter is, when they shouted it out and people looked it up, they saw me and other content creators. And mainly me, because I'm the one who was clickbaiting their names. I was the one clickbaiting Andre Jick name and all that. So then they looked it up and then they saw that man's name on my videos, which is why I'm the highest viewed person in the whole community, by the way. But that is important because I, I was the bridge from Andre Jick's mouth, from Logan Paul's mouth, from, to, from Gary V's mouth to the VV project they was converting by seeing me. And then the consistency at which you saw me once you saw me for the first time, no one was as consistent as me. So this is what you have to understand, bro. That's how a foundation should be built. It's built on faith, trust, excitement. You can't really build that with Chuck if y'all don't really got a community to that extent. The narrative about Chuck is being made by people who don't know shit about Chuck. It's people on Twitter saying, oh, it's just another meme coin project. 20,000 of these come out a day. What makes this so special? They literally don't have that information. No one does. No one does. What information do people have to be excited about? <clears throat> so at this point in time, what I believe is the biggest flaw in Chuck it's the marketing, it's the marketing side of things. I think that they have gotten, they've secured a few influencers to talk about the project, but when people talk about the project, there has to be an actual, your own community for them to come to. Because when all this stuff was going on, you all didn't have any influencers talking about it, keeping people calm, letting them know what was happening and letting them know what was going on. You didn't have anybody informing people, which led, to more and more panic, more and more panic. That's all it's going to do is lead to more and more panic. So yeah, th that was the biggest flaw with, with, with the project so far is that you all don't know what's going on. And it's not my job to tell you what's going on. I, I mean, I'm looking out because a lot of people I've been, I've been championing this project because I believe in it. I believe in what's happening. I believe in what's to come. But what's to come ain't public. And I mean, I've been lied to before too. So it's like, <clears throat> I'm not without trauma. I just refuse to be an untrusting dickhead, bro. I have faith in people. Call me stupid. Call me whatever. I have faith in people. But yo, your boy is pretty sick right now. I done been talking a minute, bro. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, that's what it is. I, I mean, this is pretty much all the information I know. Listen, I'll keep stressing the importance. I'll keep stressing the importance of community. I tried to tell Quid the same thing. We see how that turned out. Why? Quid rather spend money on the big influencers getting these one-time shout outs, getting a one-time boost in sales. <clears throat> You need a foundation. If you want to build a serious project, it has to be built on a strong foundation. That's it. We've seen it done. A lot of people may not have understood how VV was built. Listen, I played more of a role in that than most people will ever realize. But the thing is, it's normal for me. But I'm not doing it again for free. I'm not going to just be doing it for people. I'm not going to be doing it for projects. That's the, that's, that's the way that it's changed me. I didn't get recognition the first time I did it for a company. 
I didn't get recognition in Vivi. It's not even about compensation. Nobody even appreciates it. Like people talk to me like they, they got the right to talk to me like that. It's like, why am I finna sit here and keep putting money in people's pockets? Like, I'm not finna take that big of a... I'm gonna sit here and give game. You do with it what you wanna do with it. But that's why I created my Patreon. Because, listen, you wanna pay to know the stuff that I know? You're showing me that you value me? So I'm going to give you the information and stuff that I know. That's what it is, bro. That's why I chose to go the Patreon route, man. Because I'm not going to keep doing the social media, helping helping the masses, and then getting shit on. No, I'm cool. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need. The, I don't need that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully, this answered your questions. <clears throat> Hopefully, they take a different approach when it comes down to the marketing, man. Um, but we'll see. At the end of the day, cool shit is coming with Chuck, and it's a great buying point right now. <coughs> it's a great buying opportunity right now, if you ask me. Yeah, and people are taking advantage of that. So, <clears throat> I mean, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, man. Like I said, I know it looks scary, but everything is still calm. This has all just been a, a big-ass cycle of greed. A cycle of greed and a cycle of trauma. The people in this project who are Winning all are from the VB community. And <clears throat> listen, I didn't think that this would happen because I have thick skin. But I forget how many weak people are in the world, man. I mean, just because I think a certain way, I'm willing to do the work, put myself in position. People are not like me. People aren't really built like me. And the fact that the majority of people usually disagree with me, you would think that I would, I should be less humble. That's what, that's the problem. I should be less humble. But I, I genuinely believe in people. And I always forget that I think so much different than people. So I never see stuff like this coming. And that's the biggest problem. That's, I think that's my biggest weakness, faith in people. Because if I realized I am as different as I know myself to be, maybe I could make some better moves and, and do some things different. But it is what it is. I'm holding. Personally, I haven't sold any. I haven't sold any. I have no plans to sell any. Um, and when I can, I'll be, keep accumulating more. It is what it is. But let me know what you all think. Um, <clears throat> be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.